through illness. Now the gun, and they're away. The men's short course championship of the world in Leopardstown, South County, Dublin. And really a hor horrendous pace being set right from the gun. Really going very, very fast down that wide open space. 4,200 metres. Kenanisia Pekela out in front, runner-up last year, an astonishing athlete who won the junior title in Ostend. And the following day, or at least he won, he was second place, second in this race, and the following day came out and won the junior. But here he is, galloping right from the start. Number 206, Kenanisia Pekela. 247 is Julius Nyamu, replacement for Enoch Coach, who's ill. An eight minutes, eight seconds steeper chaser. And already at this hectic pace, the Kenyans, the Ethiopians, and the Algerians up in front. There isn't too much time to settle yourself in this race. It is only just over 4,000 meters. So it's necessary to focus and concentrate from the start. 2.43, Sammy Kipkater, ranked fourth in the world in the 5,000, in, in the five kilometers in 2,000, was seventh placer in the 5K at the World Championships. And there is the bell. It is the short course event, so just as another lap to go. And an, indica an indication of the uh, quality of the field. We mentioned Gareth Turnbull as uh, being an Irish hope, and there he is. But he's currently laboring in 38th position. Oh, this guy really is impressive. He has been unbeaten this season over the country. The Kenyans suffering very badly. 2.44 there, Luke Kipkoskai. Sammy Kipkater and Julius Nyamu. That's Garcia. 205 there was Mohamed Adel from Ethiopia. 217, John, John Mayer, yes. In top Britain, Gareth Turnbull going through there as well. But there's our leader. A little uh, tidbit of useless information. He's an Arsenal supporter. He may have more joy here than he will have at the Premiership, but uh, he's running so well. He is running so well that it's hard to believe, in fact, that he mightn't attempt a double over the weekend and go for the men's senior race tomorrow, the long race tomorrow. He's so, remember last year, he had a first and a second, the junior and runner up in this. But he is so far ahead of the rest in a short race like this to have broken the field with almost a full lap to go and to be cruising away. Mekkonen, remember, in second place is a very, very serious competitor. Very strong. Mekinen was third in this event in 1999, sixth in uh, 2000, and tenth last year. A big, heavy Ethiopian, unusually so. He had great difficulty in the mud of Ostend, finding the going much more to his liking here, but beginning to tire just a little bit. But out in front, there seems to be no question of any tiring by Bekele. But there's something significant happening here because Kenya. Bekele in front have won all four individual and all four team titles in this event since it started in 1998. But the way it's shaping up now, they're not going to win the team title here because the Ethiopians, while they are not in front, are packed nicely. And the four scoring Ethiopians could well dislodge Kenya from the team title. But I don't think there's much doubt that the individual medal is going to go to this man. What a performance. A lot will depend on Mekinen. If Mekinen can hold on for second place, then they have a very strong chance. But the Kenyan, the Kenyan four are packed very strongly themselves. So if there's any drift by the third and fourth Ethiopians, then it's going to be very, very tight at the end. Bekela, the Ethiopian running so strongly into the finishing straight 
Mekinen under pressure from the two Kenyans. And this is going to put the team championship back into the melting pot. No question about Bekele. Very fluent, up the hill. Hardly a break in stride in the final 180 metres. But 244, Luke Kipkoskai counter-attacking on Mekinen and goes into second place. There's our winner. He's led from the start and it's such an impressive performance the winner all right 206 Kenanisa Bikela the world junior cross country champion of last year 244 Kip Koskai Luke Kip Koskai coming in second but winning the event and the short course champion of the world Kenanisa Bikela of Ethiopia 244 Luke Kip Koskai second 207 Hailu Mekinen of Ethiopia in third. There's the confirmation of the finishing places. Kenya second, fourth, sixth and eighth. And that looks like being enough to retain them the team title. a short course uh, event for the men Spain taking the bronze medal anchored by Kenanisa Bekela. Hilo Mekadon got third. Kip Koskai, look, Kip Koskai came second. Sami Kip Kader fourth. Julius Niamu was sixth. And Joseph Koskai was eighth. Team of six, the first four finishers are the ones who count. And they were the ones. Two, four, six, and eight brought them home in the gold medal position. Kerawami's problem is that and the usual 720 meter stretch up to the finishing line they get on the way and the race is on and let's see if we see the same sort of sprint start from the Kenyans we saw it in the last race and in the junior race it was quite awesome those are two Ethiopians there possible but that is a very very fast start and it is actually slightly uphill even they're beginning to hit the uphill stretch now from round the curve up to the finish, what is the finish line? And the leader is uh, an interesting character, Kenanisa Bikela, Kenny Bikela. He has uh, the world junior record holder at 3,000 meters. He is bidding to become the first athlete ever to win all three cross country titles available to him. He was the junior champion in 2001. He won the short course event here yesterday, and now he's leading the way in the long course event and on the basis of our observation of his performance yesterday you'd have to say that he is on the cusp of becoming the latest greatest long distance runner in the world by Enoch Nittan so Kenya leads Kenya second Ethiopia third and then Tanzania in the person of John Yuda in the sky blue wearing number 468 and we haven't seen much from them the course of this world cross country weekend but John Yuda is very much up in contention that's our leader Enoch Mitai and not surprisingly Kenya at this stage showing very clearly as the team leaders but Tanzania and Eritrea in this long di longer distance event are having an impact and it's a Tanzanian who leads John Yuda the Moroccans packing very very well in that group as well Alavi Katabi three times a finalist in the World Championship steeplechase in the middle of that leading group for Morocco 
interesting the uh, the lengths that Yuta has to go to to keep himself in trim. He can't go on early morning training runs in the area where he lives in Tanzania because he'd be in danger of tangling with the wild hyenas. Which is clearly no laughing matter. That's John Yuta currently in second place. Jaoud Garib of Morocco, the leader in uh, the leading Moroccan there in the all green, just behind the Eritrean. The Kenyan's very, very strong. But Yuda, really a great race, and it's um, it's very handy for Bekele that he's got uh, the Tanzanian there making the pace, so he doesn't have to do the work. He only took up running this fellow in uh, the year 2000, and he's on emerged as the number one Tanzanian runner. And one of his proudest boasts is that he's third fastest of all time on the road, over 25 kilometers. And Yuda's pace is really beginning to stretch them out now, and one or two of them are struggling just a bit. 427 there, Richard Limo. The world champion at 5,000 meters. His middle name is Kipkemai. And in the way that the East Africans, and particularly the Kenyans, give names to their children which relate to the circumstances of their birth, his name means born in the dry season when food is barely available or hardly available. It certainly hasn't affected his uh, running talent. Richard Kipkemai Limo. And out in front, John Yuda and Bekele looking awesomely easy. But he is having to work so much harder. If you look at the difference between Bekele and even between Yuda and Talel, so much more comfortable, so much more easy for Kenanisa Bekele. The Kenyan really having to work and really beginning to feel the effects. This man looking as though he's got a fifth gear and he's just easing his way around. He has that appearance, doesn't it, that he's has it in his mind. He's got a strike. Yuda still running smoothly, but knows he hasn't been able to shake this man off. Looks so fresh. Yesterday's efforts in the short course must seem just like a training spin. That's uh, Tal Taleni in third place. And what's happening here is that uh, Bekele is putting the squeeze on Yuda. Yuda may not want to go that fast, but uh, Bekele is just squeezing it, forcing his way up onto his shoulder, and Yuda knows that he either has to run fast to stay ahead of Bekele, or if he doesn't, Bekele is just going to go and go well away from him. It's a fascinating tactical battle, isn't it? Cat and mouse. And Bekele has just stepped ahead of Yuda. Confirmation of the team standings. And Bekele, first position at this stage, won't really help Ethiopia dent Kenya because they are so densely packed just behind. And he is looking... He looked over at uh, Yuda just to see how Yuda was faring and saw on his face that Yuda now was beginning to crack and he has decided to go. And it is, you would have to say, almost over. With over a lap to go. And the moment has come and Bekele has gone ahead and there is no question who is the fresher of those two athletes. And it's the young man from Addis Ababa who has just decided that now is his moment and he's gonna go and you would not bet against him. These are third, fourth, fifth and sixth. The four scoring Kenyans. You are seeing for the first time in Leopard's time a man who is sure to become a huge athletic star over the next decade. Kenan Isabikila, known to his mates as Kenny. Yuda trying to strike back 
getting a second win, but it's a big, big gap. It's a big, big gap that Pekela has opened up, and he should surely remain safe for the rest of the race. It looks so easy. It can't be, of course. He must be hurting. But, uh, oh, look at the fluency. This is quite remarkable. Because you are looking at a man who is just striking clear, well clear. A lot of meters clear of a huge collection of great distance talents. There's no sign of the third man. Mohamed Morheat, the Moroccan-born Belgian who won it the last two years, nowhere to be seen. That's the third man, Wilberforce Talley. And look how he's suffering. Compare now, compare that with the man who's 50, 60, 100 metres ahead of him. This is he, Kenanisa Bikila. Look at the difference. And that is the world champion at 10,000 metres, Charles Kamati. We haven't mentioned Sergei Lebed much lately either. The European, twice the European cross-country champion. The Ukrainian hasn't figured here either. A long way back behind the leader, Kenny Bikela. That's Gary of Morocco. As he comes up to overtake, to lap another of the runners who are down the field. He's just so smooth. John Euler, second place. The bell still sounds for those down the field. The Chilean is lapped. In third place and feeling the pressure, Wilberforce Talele. Really fighting his way around the track. But the man of the moment, and look at the composure. Another runner to be lapped. Another from Uzbekistan. <laughs> He's actually taken some encouragement from the presence of the leader beside him. Kazan Rahimov matching Bikela stride for stride. But uh, that was as much as he could manage. Now he's gone. His race still has two kilometers to run. Kenny Bikela is coming up the hill for the last time. About to become the cross-country champion of the world. Oh, dear Lord, he looks so easy. Second place, John Yuda, Tanzania. Led for so long with Bikela on his shoulder. Finally had the reserves to respond. He's had another look. He knows it's a long, long way back. About to enter the finishing shoot now as the rest of the runners have another lap to complete. Talley in third. Concentrate on this man. Just look at his finishing form. He's going up by a hill that is taking it out of the rest of the field. It's almost as though it's not there. Totally composed, the poise, the balance, the ease. If you remember Paula Radcliffe yesterday finishing, up the finishing straight, she was almost standing still into the teeth of the wind. This man is just cruising up the straight. He's 50, 60, 70 metres ahead of John Ruder. Kenanisa Bikela. Bikela comes home to take the gold medal for Ethiopia, completing the double of short course and long course. A magnificent performance by a magnificent athlete who is sure to become a huge star of distance running over the next decade. John Yuda of Tanzania in second place and Wilberforce Talele of Kenya leading home the Kenyan challenge. He'll get the gold medal for the team, but it's bronze individually. Kenya third, Kenya will be fourth as well. Limo, Richard Limo, now he can smile, Kalili. Then it's Limo in fourth place. And there's the result. Confirmed, Kenny Bikela, John Yuda, and Wilberforce Talel. Help them on their way to the team gold.
and the Ethiopian team, Kenanisha Bekele, Kenya. And their team, Wilberforce Talel, Richard Limo, Charles Kamati, and Albert Chip Karui.